The cochineal is an insect from which the natural dye carmine is derived. Carmine is completely natural and is one of the only colorants approved by the FDA for use around the eye. It is the only red approved for use in foods in the US and the European Union due to government restrictions of artificial dyes in foods. As of 2005, the market price of cochineal was between 50 and 80 US dollars per kilogram, while synthetic versions can be bought for as low as 10 to 20 dollars per kilogram. The global carmine market size was valued at $33.9 million in 2017 and is expected to reach $57.5 million by 2025. France is believed to be the world's largest importer of cochineal, and much of these imports are processed and then re-exported to other developed countries. Cochineal is derived from the French cochineal, which is derived from Spanish cochinilla, which is in turn derived either from the Latin clochinus, meaning scarlet-coloured, or clocum, meaning berry-yielding scarlet dye. Cochineal dye was used by the Aztec and Mayan peoples of North and Central America as early as the 2nd century BC. Natives of Peru had been producing cochineal dyes for textiles since at least 700 AD, but Europeans had never seen the colour before. In the 16th century, when the Spanish invaded the Aztec Empire, in what is now Mexico, they were quick to exploit the colour for new trade opportunities. Carmine became Mexico's second most valuable export next to silver. By the 17th century, it was traded as far away as India and was highly prized in Europe. Pigments produced from the cochineal insect gave the Catholic cardinals their vibrant robes and the English redcoats their distinctive uniforms. The true source of the pigment, an insect, was kept secret until the 18th century when biologists discovered the source. After the Mexican War of Independence in 1821, the Mexican monopoly on cochineal came to an end. Large-scale production of cochineal emerged, especially in Guatemala and the Canary Islands. It was also cultivated in Spain and North Africa. The demand for cochineal fell sharply, with the appearance of artificial dyes discovered in Europe in the middle of the 19th century. The delicate manual labor required for the breeding of the insect could not compete with the modern methods of the new industry and even less so with the lowering of production costs. The dye stopped being used, and trade in cochineal almost totally disappeared in the course of the 20th century. In recent decades, the breeding of the cochineal has been done mainly for the purposes of maintaining the tradition, rather than to satisfy any sort of demand. However, the product has become commercially valuable again. One reason for its popularity is that many commercial synthetic red dyes and food colorings have been found to be carcinogenic. Cochineal insects are soft-bodied, flat, oval-shaped scale insects, native to tropical and subtropical South America through North America. Cochineals exhibit extreme sexual dimorphism, meaning that the male and the female differ in more than just sex organs. The females are wingless and about 5 mm long, while the adult males have wings and are much smaller. The females cluster on cactus pads, which they penetrate with their beak-like mouthparts, and feed on its moisture and nutrients, remaining immobile and less alarmed. After mating, the fertilized female increases in size and gives birth to tiny nymphs. The nymphs secrete a white, waxy substance over their bodies for protection from water loss and excessive sun. This substance makes the cochineal insect appear white or grey from the outside, though the body of the insect and its nymphs produces the red pigment, which makes the insides of the insect appear dark purple. The cochineal disperses in the first nymph stage, called the crawler stage. The juveniles move to a feeding spot and produce long wax filaments. Later, they move to the edge of the cactus pad, where the wind catches the wax filaments and carries the insects to a new host. These individuals establish feeding sites on the new host cactus and produce a new generation of cochineals. Male nymphs feed on the cactus until they reach sexual maturity. At this time, they can no longer feed at all and live only long enough to fertilize the eggs. To deter predators, the cochineal produces carminic acid, which is what becomes cochineal extract or carmine. A cactus farm for the production of cochineals is traditionally known as a nopalry, named after the type of cactus, the nopal. There are two methods of farming cochineals, traditional and controlled. 
Cochineals are farmed in the traditional method by planting infected cactus pads or infesting existing cacti with cochineals and harvesting the insects by hand. The controlled method uses small baskets called zapotec nests placed on the host cacti. The basket contains clean, fertile females that leave the nests and settle on the cactus to await fertilization by the males. In both cases, the cochineals must be protected from predators, the cold, and the rain. The complete cycle lasts three months, during which time the cacti are kept at a constant temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. At the end of the cycle, the new adult cochineals are either left to reproduce or are collected and dried for dye production. Harvesting the insects is labor-intensive, as they must be individually knocked, brushed or picked from the cacti and placed into bags. The insects are gathered by small groups of collectors, who sell them to local processors or exporters. Cochineals are native to tropical and subtropical South and North America, where their host cacti grow natively. They have been widely introduced to many regions where the host cacti also grow. About 200 species of Apuntia cacti are known, and while it is possible to cultivate cochineals on almost all of them, the most common is Apuntia ficus indica. Feeding cochineals can damage and kill the host cacti. Carminic acid is extracted from the female cochineal insects and is treated to produce carmine, which can yield shades of red such as crimson and scarlet. The body of the insect is 19-22% to carminic acid. Before sale, the insects must be dried to about 30% of their original body weight before they can be stored without decaying. It takes between 80,000 and 100,000 insects to make one kilogram of cochineal dye. The insects are processed by immersion in hot water or exposure to sunlight, steam or the heat of an oven. Each method produces a different colour that results in the varied appearance of commercial cochineal. The two principal forms of cochineal dye are cochineal extract, a colouring made from the raw, dried and pulverised bodies of insects, and carmine, a more purified colouring made from the cochineal. To prepare carmine, the powdered insect bodies are boiled in ammonia or a sodium carbonate solution. The insoluble matter is removed by filtering, and the chemical compound alum is added to the clear salt solution of carminic acid to precipitate the red aluminium salt. For shades of purple, lime is added to the alum. Traditionally, cochineal was used for colouring fabrics. During the colonial period, with the introduction of sheep to Latin America, the use of cochineal increased, as it provided the most intense colour and it set more firmly on woolen garments than on clothes made of materials of pre-Hispanic origin, such as cotton, agave and yucca fibres. In general, cochineal is more successful on protein-based animal fibres, like silk, than plant-based material. Cochineal-coloured wool and cotton are important materials for Mexican folk art and crafts. For the past several centuries, it was the most important insect dye used in the production of handwoven oriental rugs. It was also used for painting, crafting, and tapestries. Cochineal is also used as a cosmetics dye and as a natural food coloring, though its use can render the product unacceptable to vegetarian or vegan consumers. It is used in histology and microbiology as a preparatory stain and in the pharmaceutical industry to color pills and ointments. In artists' paints, it has been replaced by synthetic reds and is largely unavailable for purchase due to poor light fastness. Many Muslims consider carmine-containing food to be forbidden, or haram, because the dye is extracted from insects, and all insects except for the locust are haram in Islam. Jewish people also avoid food containing this additive, as it is not kosher. In spite of the widespread use of carmine-based dyes in food and cosmetic products, a small number of people have been found to experience occupational asthma, food allergies, cosmetic allergies such as allergic rhinitis and chylitis, respiratory hypersensitivity, and in rare cases anaphylactic shock. In 2006, the FDA stated it found no evidence of a significant hazard to the general population. In 2009, the FDA ruled that labels of cosmetics and food that include cochineal extract must include that information on their labels, under the name cochineal extract or carmine. 
In the EU, authorities list carmine as additive E120 in the list of EU-approved food additives. The directive governing food dyes approves the use of carmine for certain groups of food only, but is still found in several products, particularly alcoholic beverages.